So there's been a new update, 8.5.15, and it's got a few uh, changes in it, so I'm just going to run through those now. Um, the first relates to um, how uh, you can drag and drop items into Zoom Notes from other apps. Um, I'll just show you with symbols first. Um, there's an option called scale to shapes and if that's on then when you place a symbol over a shape or a table it's going to adjust the symbol size to um, the shape so I can just drop these symbols into those circles and it's automatically resizing to those shape, uh, those the shape that I've dropped it onto. Um, now for selection um, there's a new option called uh, drag drop scale to shape that one so if I drop my symbol out here it's going to leave it selected didn't didn't change its size that's fine we go to select tool and I'm going to use the drag drop marker in the middle and it's picked it up it's got the plus and it's going to detect that I've dropped it on this circle and it's scaled the uh, copied item to fit the um, the shape that I dropped it on. Now you can do the same from uh, split screen um, I, iCloud Drive files app so bring in uh, images from there just drop them on a shape or table and it'll auto resize. Um, another change perhaps long awaited is a way of having um, text which is uh, follows a curve so on this page I've used the feature and at the moment it's tied up in the um, this line tool because that's a way of defining a curve um, I've just turned the line thickness down to zero so I'll turn it up to something we can see so you can pull these nodes around and it's going to adjust the curve and the, and the text um, adjust accordingly so if I go to this page simple example again I can um, tweak these points um, <clears throat> and on the label tab I've got access to things like um, height above line um, and font size and uh, it's this curvy text option that you want to um, turn on and that will make the curve hug the, the curve rather than just being uh, a straight line kind of tangential to um, where you've positioned it along the curve. Um, final thing, if I have a, um, a link uh, that's um, so I'll just add a link this way manually link I don't know page to let's go back to the first page okay um, image a bit updated so I've got a link um, and sometimes it's not obvious where your links are and what's linked so there's a new option which is in the uh, zoom um, tool settings and it's called highlight all links and you can choose what color you want them to be and you can just leave it on and it remembers it for the project um, so that's useful for remembering where your links are and also if you're um, if you're using links that are just over other ob objects you can't actually see the polygons anymore because you've um, you've um, just turned fill and um, border off so they're essentially invisible um, but obviously still function as links um, so that's because I can see it because this is on Okay, it's gone now. Previously, you'd have to kind of tap the screen and it would momentarily highlight 
where the links are. It's just easier to have that switched on um, temporarily to to find out where uh, where those uh, link shapes are. Um, and final thing is uh, both. Well, I'll show you on this one first page. Add tab pages. So uh, it's got some options. I'll turn fill tabs on for palette. Change the palette. Uh, don't need that one. Um, and uh, there's a new option called highlight current. Um, and if I create those, then um, what you can see, if I turn that one off, is current tab's got a, a little re rectangle around the A, um, so that if I change to B, that's got the rectangle C. So it's just a way of uh, keeping um, up to date as to which tab you're you're um, looking at and the um, planner options, uh, digital planner options have the, uh, the same uh, setting so you can um, have that feature on all your tabs.